Back everyone, the 46th annual Indiana Civil Rights and Human Rights Conference is coming up June 18th through the 20th, set to increase awareness of civil rights and honor those working to maintain them. Greg Wilson and Lisa Welch are with me now from the Indiana Civil Rights Commission. Thank Thanks you. for coming in today. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. Some folks may have not heard of this three-day conference. Tell me what all it entails, Lisa. Sure, sure. Um, as you said, we will be holding our conference June 18th through the 20th at the Sheraton uh, City Center downtown. And we're going to have four different learning tracks for um, education and policy updates, mm -hmm. uh, all things civil rights. So we're going to be holding enforcement training. So the folks that, like the people that work at our agency who investigate um, complaints of discrimination, right. some training for them, will have law and policy updates. Uh, there's going to be a civil rights history and advocacy track for grassroots organizations, nonprofit organizations, and just anyone who's interested in the history of civil rights. And uh, perhaps most importantly, we'll have a diversity and inclusion track. So that is uh, for any kind of organization that wants to build a robust diversity mm -hmm. and inclusion program uh, may not know what that actually looks like. So we're going to be showing people how to build that out. Well, it makes sense you organize it in that way because some folks can have a hard time wrapping their mind around the human rights or civil rights issues in Indiana. Like what are the problems and what can they do to help? And also part of this event you're focusing on people who have kind of wrapped their mind around that and actually made a difference with an awards ceremony. That's right and I think the uh, important piece of that is the awards dinner and that's on the 19th and uh, we'll have uh, uh, speakers like Karen Freeman Wilson she'll be our, our speaker uh, for that night and uh, we'll be focusing on those who are pushing to uh, include uh, diversity and inclusion in the things that they do. Mm -hmm. That's very important. Including those in what they do. Can you give me a specific then of maybe what somebody is doing that you're honoring uh, them for? For example, even though your business model is always to make money and to be successful, but also you understand the importance of ensuring that there is opportunities for all within your company and then also kind of your civic responsibility to focus on diversity and inclusion. And that's why you'll see at the conference, one of the things we've done is partner with CICF and you know they have a new mission which mm -hmm. is trying to focus on diversity and inclusion and we've come alongside of them to see what we can do to recognize those type of individuals and, and that you, focus. Since you've held your last conference a year ago, do you feel like there has been a lot of change and a lot of positive growth and, and new folks that you can recognize and see this event? Well, again, is uh, our mission is to eradicate discrimination. So we work with partners all over the state, mm -hmm. uh, corporations and individuals. And of course, there's still work to do, but we know that there has been some success. And a good opportunity to highlight that then. So for somebody looking to attend uh, and maybe learn more in some of these conferences, and as you said, those four tracks they can do, what do they need to do today then to be a part of that? Absolutely. Uh, you need to visit our website, which is um, in.gov slash ICRC so they can have information about our conference and sp specifically about the dinner as well. And be a part of and that. And be I a would part say, of the awards event. And yes. then also remember the conference is the 18th, 19th, and 20th. We have luncheons on the 18th and the 19th and the dinner. I mean, yeah, luncheons on 18th, 19th, and the dinners on the 19th as well. Okay. And something they could definitely be a part of then. And even just to get inspired, maybe hear somebody else's yes. story and think, okay, maybe I can do that within my sphere of influence as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Yes. And That's also, we again, we appreciate Wish for being a media partner on this. So thank you so much. Of course, we're glad to share your message. Folks, thanks for coming in today. We so thank appreciate you. it. Thank you.